Hello there, all my Foxy Fix and stamping friends. It's Christine with you here today, and I've got a Plan With Me video for you. This is for the week of uh, Monday, August 1st through Sunday, August 7th. And I'm using the hexagon stamp in one of the Bujo Foundation sets from Foxy Fix. Um, I saw this hexagon and I just immediately started thinking about bees and honey and honeycomb. And so I decided to try to do a sort of honeycomb theme. And uh, stay tuned at the end of this uh, video. I've got a couple of clips for you with tips um, for how I was able to line up those hexagons um, so that the edges overlapped so well. I used the smaller hexagon for my tracker and for my other stuff. And that was pretty much it for my functional stamping. I'm on summer vacation um, until the end of August, and so I don't have a lot of to-do lists. So in order to decorate this up, I pulled out this pink and main uh, set that I have called Be Happy. I used the honey pot and the little um, honey dripper spoon thingy and a couple of the little bees, and that was pretty much it. I used my Copic fine liner, um, multi-liner, I'm sorry, pen to write in all of my uh, to-dos and make the little dotted lines for my cute little bumblebees. Um, and then I also used um, one alpha set here. This is uh, from Sweet Stamp Shop. It's the mixed alpha set. And Foxy Fix makes um, some days of the week stamps and I was initially going to use those. Um, we have these and then there's also the days of the week abbreviations and then the, the date numbers. But I knew that I was going to be needing a different alpha for the other stuff title and I didn't want it to stick out like a sore thumb and not go. So I decided to use that um, set for my days also. And then when I was all done stamping, I used my heat gun, my embossing gun to dry this ink very thoroughly because I knew I wanted to watercolor I'm using Versacolor pigment ink, and watercolor looks great, worth it, but it has to be completely dry. Um, so I use my heat gun, and then I use this cheapy little $5 set of watercolors from Michaels and my water brush, and I was done. Guys, this whole thing came together very, very quickly, so I hope you enjoy watching how it happened.
Hey guys, again, so as promised, I want to go ahead and show you, um, before I show you the completed spread and some close-ups, I want to show you how I was able to line up these hexagons so well. So again, I'm using the Versacolor Black Pigment Ink, and I've got the uninked stamp on the block here, and I'm going to hold it over top of the one that's already um, stamped, and I'm moving it very slowly left and right, and I hope you can see that is when I go over the part that's already inked, you can see the dark line there through the stamp. Can you kind of see how you can kind of tell when it gets lined up? So I'm going to use that to my advantage here. As I ink up um, the stamp on the block, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to turn it upside down. I'm going to hold it right above the page and then I'm going to very um, slowly kind of move it back and forth over top of the stamp that's already there. And as I do that, I hope you can tell as well as I can that when the black lines line up, it becomes very dark. Um, that line becomes very black and thick. And so as soon as I see that happen, then I go ahead and set down my stamp. And you'll see that I end up with a near perfect image there. That, that hexagon on the right could probably be a little bit higher, but as far as those two lines overlapping, I think I did a pretty darn good job there. Um, I'm going to use the same technique here in a second by, here we go, I'm going to add a hexagon um, in that little slot there between those two that are stamped. and. It's a little bit tougher to line them up, but I'm going to use the exact same technique. So I'm um, inking my stamp, and I'm going to move it slowly up and down so I can see it go over that black line and then out of the black line. And when those black lines become really dark and solid, that's when I feel like they're all lined up. And here you go. This one's uh, not so hot. It's a little bit thicker on the left than it really should be. But honestly, I'll take this. There are no gaps. That are, there are no major overlaps. I think I did a pretty good job here. So I hope that this technique um, helps you in uh, lining up these kind of stamps. Give it a try and let me know what you think. Thanks, everybody.